Hey friends, welcome to your virtual art room. I'm so glad you could join me. Today we're going to do a symmetry project. We'll be making these cool cut paper fish. Are you ready to get started? Let's begin by reviewing the idea of symmetry. Symmetry is when you divide an object down the middle and observe that it is the same on both sides. Lines of symmetry can be vertical, straight up and down, or they can be horizontal, side to side. Lines of symmetry can also occur on a diagonal. One object may have many different lines of symmetry. We observe symmetry in nature, and we also observe symmetry in man-made objects, like this teapot. Sometimes objects are symmetrical in one direction, but not symmetrical in a different direction. When an object is not symmetrical when divided down the center, we call that asymmetry. Do you feel pretty good about your ability to spot symmetry? Okay, prove it. I want you to go around your house and find five objects that are symmetrical and two objects that are asymmetrical. When you have your objects, draw them on a piece of paper and also draw the line of symmetry down the middle. Are you ready? Okay, go. For our art making today, we're going to make these really cool symmetrical cutout fish. You'll need the following supplies. A couple pieces of plain white paper or construction paper, a pencil, a pencil sharpener, an eraser, a pair of scissors, paint, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and a rag or a paper towel. Do you have all your supplies? Let's get started. Take out your first piece of paper. Turn it so that the long side is facing you. We're going to fold it in half, hot dog style, to make a long skinny rectangle. Grab the bottom two corners and fold them up till they match the top two corners. While still pressing down on the paper so that it doesn't move, walk your fingers over to the center. Use your thumbs to flatten the fold starting in the center, and then all the way out to the edges. Check your paper to make sure that the folded edge is closest to you. Put one finger on that folded edge and make sure that your paper opens away from you. It's important that your paper is facing the right way. If it's not, and you start drawing in the wrong corner, when you cut your fish, it will come out in two pieces instead of being one symmetrical fish. We're going to make one single line for the tail and body of the fish. Find the upper left corner of your paper. That's where you'll start drawing. Draw a diagonal line from that corner down towards the center. Stop about two fingers from the folded edge of your paper. Now draw a line that curves up towards the top of your paper and down to the folded edge. Now we're going to finish off the tail. From the top left corner where you started drawing your fish, draw another diagonal line that comes down and ends at the folded edge of your paper. Before we do anything else, we want to double check our work and make sure that the folded edge of the paper was in the right place. Unfold your paper. Does it look like the nose of your fish and the middle of the tail are touching the folded line? If so, you're good to go. Fold your paper back up and move on to the next step. If your fish looks like this, you had the folded edge of the paper facing away from you. Erase your line and try again. This time, pay close attention to where the folded edge of your paper is. We're going to make our fish look more interesting by adding shapes on the inside that we will eventually cut out. They can be any shape you want, but here's the catch. You have to start drawing your shape on the folded line and end on the folded line. And your shape cannot touch the outline of your fish. Watch as I draw a few shapes in the body of my fish.
Now pause the video while you draw shapes in the body of your fish. Grab your scissors, it's time to cut. Pick up your paper. Make sure that you are pinching the paper closed so that when you cut, you're cutting through both layers of paper at the same time. Start by cutting out the outline of your fish. Make sure you're always cutting through both pieces of paper. If your fish is still in one piece, you're doing great. If your fish fell apart and you now have two separate pieces, you're going to need to go back and start from the beginning. I know it's frustrating to start over, but think about how cool your fish is going to look when it's done. Now we can move on to cutting out the shapes in the inside of your fish's body. Cut one shape at a time. It's okay if you don't stay exactly on the lines. Be careful that you don't cut all the way through to the edge of your fish. If you do, your fish will fall apart into pieces and you want it to be one single piece. Done cutting? Unfold your fish and admire the view. Now it's time to decorate our fish. You can use crayons, colored pencils, markers, or paint. If your parents are okay with letting you paint, get out your paint, your cup of water, your rag, and your paint brushes. If you're using watercolor paint like I am, you'll want to put a couple drops of water into each color. That helps get the watercolor paint ready for use. As you paint, think about symmetry and try to make your painting design symmetrical, the same on the top as it is on the bottom of your fish. Be sure to rinse your brush when you switch from one color to the next. Tap, 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 wiggle, 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 then dry it off. Now let's add an eye. And a smiley mouth. If you're like me, you don't want to stop at just one fish. You can make smaller fish by using a half sheet of paper instead of a whole sheet. The process is the same. Try experimenting with some weird and wacky shapes for the inside of your fish.
color, making sure that your design is symmetrical. You can flip your fish over to make it swim the other direction. When you're done for the day, make sure you clean up your workspace. Put away all your supplies so that your workspace looks as good as it did when you started. If you got paint on the table, dip the corner of your rag in your water and use it to wipe the paint off the table. Make sure your paintbrushes are rinsed and dried. When your fish are dry, tape them to a window and have a family member take a picture of you swimming with your fish. I hope you're happy with how your fish turned out. It's time to say goodbye for now. Make sure you have mom or dad take a photo of you swimming with your fish and upload it to Seesaw. See you next week.